Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Excuse my voice and the way I'm sounding today. I am still under the weather but I have to keep on with these videos until December is over. So in today's video I wanted to speak about letting go of those baggages. Those things that we are you know holding on to that are not letting us progress. That are still affecting the way we do things, that the way we work. I believe that many things that we do go through in life is for us to learn from. Like imagine we went through life not you know understanding or learning from anything that we do most of us will be stagnant and still be in the same position that we are in because we won't know how to let go of the emotions that we that come with that negativity or come with that disappointment that you know holds us down it affects the way we think as well because we won't be able to concentrate on the most important things that we need to concentrate on we'll just be thinking of that thing that you know like somebody done something to us we're still holding on to that or you know we never got the job that we applied for we put our time into something that we thought would you know bring us something good and all of a sudden you know things didn't work out like those things do put us down sometimes we don't realize that maybe there's something better out there for us than what we you know put our hearts and emotion into i remember when i left uni i was applying for jobs and every time i applied for the same jobs they would just come back to me saying that I was overqualified and I'm like how can somebody be overqualified that means I can still get the job I need money I need to you know be able to live and stuff so why can't you you know just give me the job but what I didn't realize was that I was being taken on a journey to you know get confident in myself and get confident in what I know that I now want to do which is be a presenter so back then Obviously, I loved the idea of being a presenter, but I didn't think that I was good enough or I was confident enough to do it. Only until I got a customer service job on the railway that I realised that it was like God was training me. So, you know, just speaking to people on the gates and stuff, that was his way of basically saying that, you know what, you need to practice talking to people. That's when some people now start having doubts about themselves, saying they're not good enough for some certain things. But that's not the case. It's just that that particular thing that you wanted to happen you know didn't happen because it might not be for you at that time sometimes we just have to better ourselves in certain areas of our life before we can be connected to things that are great and that we are expecting to achieve in our lives i know sometimes people's problems may be something physical as well and i understand that can be so hard the thing is you're alive for a purpose and you just need to find out what it is you need to do to be able to communicate to other people out there because some somebody out there may be in the same situation you're in and if they've got you to tell them that look listen i've gone through it i've come out of it and this is how i've done it this world would be a better place thank you guys for tuning in today and i'm hoping that i get better real soon because my throat is really hurting me i'm committed to these vlogs so i'm going to keep on progressing and i'm hoping that i can get some few people on, on board to do a takeover so that would be also awesome for that to happen so i'm going to be hollering at some people and hopefully they'll agree to do a takeover for me so thank you and see you tomorrow